I swore to myself when I started this vlog that I was not going to talk about politics at all. No politics. Um, but because of all the stuff that's been happening, I have to address some of the social issues. And the social issues aren't necessarily political. Uh, it seems like people on the left and the right are making it political, um, denouncing people who are rioting or denouncing people who support Republican politicians. I don't give a crap about any of that, okay? Um, what I uh, want to talk about is one thing that I've honestly, just in the last five years, have come to terms with, and that's white privilege. We have, as white people, we don't see our privilege. Um, I hear white people all the time saying that, well, I don't have any white privilege. Well, look, here's me, okay? Rob Holmes, 49 years old. Um, as a kid, as a young teenager, I was spat on. I had spitballs uh, spat on me all the way home from school on the school bus. I was stuffed in lockers. Um, my parents, both of them, committed suicide. Uh, my mom when I was 11, my father when I was 33. So I know, I know discrimination. I know uh, sadness. I also grew up poor. I know poverty. But, but that has nothing to do with white privilege. White privilege is the fact that police give us the benefit of the doubt. And that's what I wanted to tell you guys today. It's all about benefit of the doubt. I was sitting uh, yesterday having drinks with my closest friend um, who uh, happens to be black. And he showed me this video of a guy in uh, Santa Monica during the protest, a white guy, running around with a gun, pointing it at people all over the place, right? And then he just walks off as if it never happened. Um, he said to me, he's, you know, if that was a black guy, he would have been shot. You know, this white guy just did it and just walked off. And I agreed with him. And I was like, you know, and then he says to me, he said, you know, that's what I've been talking about. You guys get the benefit of the doubt. And I was like, wow. You know, that's what it is. That's what it is, is the fact that when the police approach us, they give us the benefit of the doubt. They don't necessarily have their guns out. They don't necessarily make you get out of the car and pull your pants down, spread your cheeks and all that other bullshit. You know, this is real. This is real. And it's really about that one simple thing. And people start getting into politics and they start coming up with, oh, yeah, you know, black deaths, white deaths. You know, the, the math doesn't add up to a, um, uh, an eradication of black men by police. I get that. Um, but it's not about that. It's about the simple eye contact. The second a cop looks at a black person, they don't get the benefit of the doubt. And you do as a white person. And when you start to realize that and you start to bake that into your thinking, it's not political, okay? It's just that you as a white person get the benefit of the doubt and an African American doesn't. Um, I know a woman who's twice as smart as me, um, who works as a producer in Hollywood, uh, a black woman who lives in my neighborhood, which is fairly affluent, and she posted on Facebook yesterday that she didn't want to go out to get takeout food because she didn't want to get questioned by the police why she was out. You know, and I was like, that shouldn't be. That shouldn't be. That fear. That fear. Whether or not a cop was going to approach her or not isn't the problem. It's the fact that she feared it. So just understand that. And be sensitive to it. When people are out there, and let me tell you something, I know a lot of black folks, and I don't know a single one of them that condone the looting, the violence, okay? They're not doing it. These are outside organizations. I know here in LA, in South LA, it was the Crips that, that were involved in doing it. And a lot of people are saying Antifa, a lot of these young anarchists are doing it. But the black folks are not doing the violence, okay, as a group. They are not. Um, but they're not getting the benefit of the doubt, even from you. Even from you, being a nice, well-meaning white person, you still aren't giving them the benefit of the doubt. This is about me, as a white man, telling you my perspective so that you know that the benefit of the doubt is what they're asking for. That is what they're asking for, period. It all starts with that. It doesn't get to violence um, if they're given the benefit of the doubt, okay? Hopefully this message gets to many of you. Um, hopefully uh, my white friends can see that this is an issue that we all ignore, that maybe after today we don't. 
Uh, and hopefully my black friends can understand that not all white people are, um, are jerks. And the ones that are jerks, maybe many of them just don't understand that one simple truth. It's not all about the violence. It's about the fear and the fact that we don't, uh, we don't understand their fear. So I'm going to let you guys go. And I hope you guys have a really wonderful day and um, do everything you can to look at another person and love them today. Okay, today, going forward. All right, catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.